All right, so um, at this point what we want to do is we want to <clears throat> go into Dynamo and take a look at how Dynamo is going to work. And it's, it, what Dynamo is going to do is it's going to pull this overall area from our area plan that we created and it's going to push it into the room schedule into this parameter uh, project parameter that we've created called area gross. It's also going to pull all the areas from the rooms and push those over there so we can do and add all of these up together. So basically we're going to make, we're going to get an area from an area plan and push it into a room schedule. So let's take a look at the Dynamo definition. So here's the definition and basically what it does is it comes in and it collects all the rooms and it gets all the areas for the rooms and then we take those areas and we assign those areas to our area gross, right, which is what we have right here. So it's basically what it's going to do is it's going to take all of these and push them over to here. And then what's going to happen is it's going to go get all the areas, right, and we are going to create a room, like a false room. So it's just an empty room. It's an unplaced room using this room by location. We're going to call it offices gross and we're going to give it a number of X and it's just going to plunk it down at zero, zero, zero on level one. That element is going to get an area assigned to its area gross, right? And we're also going to give it an occupancy of B1 gross. So, and that will get pushed into the room schedule. So let's go ahead and see um, how that works. So if I run this guy, okay, so we ran it and let's take a look at what it's seeing. So if I pull out a couple of watches here, right, and we pull the area into here and let's run that again, right, it's just pulling the areas there. If we look at this, it's pulling, right, that one area from that piece. And then if we take a look at Revit, what it's done is it's made that room with the number X. It's given it an occupancy type of B1 gross. The area is a redundant room. So the actual area, so the system parameter is a redundant room. But you're going to see that the project parameter that I have over here is actually calculating out that gross. Now here's what you have to do is you have to pull and filter these guys out and get this to calculate for you. So if I go in and I go to fields, oh sorry, and I go to filter, I just want to filter out using the occupancy does not equal B1, right? And then also get rid of the occupancy does not equal in a right things that aren't being calculated and now I have this area gross calculation and if I come in and go to my formatting and let's pick the areas calculate let's go to area gross and let's go ahead and calculate totals for that right then we're getting this calculation here for the gross area and over here Obviously, it's much lower because it's pulling out those two B1s, right? <clears throat> and then what we would need to do is adjust our occupancy load calculation here, which we had that was only calculating for the area. So I'm going to go into occupancy load D here. And for that, I'm going to go to fields. And that's a... Um, that's basically, and again, if you want to see this, how this whole thing works, you can go to the previous one and we walk through it. But if I edit this occupancy load D for the decimal, you'll see that it's taking the area and dividing it by square foot. But what I can do now is I can take the area gross. So if I take the area gross and divide it by one foot and click OK and click OK, then I'm going to start to get, um, and it's not calculating out because I haven't put in an occupancy factor for that. So I'm just going to go in and put 100 in there and now it should calculate through. So you can see it's calculating through and giving me, um, the occupancy loads again, based on not 
the individual rooms, but on the rooms that are coming from Dynamo. So basically we're just using Dynamo to pull an area plan, push it into a room schedule. Now, all right, so we've kind of got all of this guy calculating out and I wanted to show you if you came in and sort of tab selected and move this wall out, right? You're gonna see that office gross get bigger. Um, it's not gonna change here until you rerun the Dynamo. So if I come in, <clears throat> let's go to, go to Dynamo and I've got it kind of squinched up here. Um, what you would wanna do to rerun those calculations is, and get it to go again, is, is turn it to false and run it, and then turn it back to true and run it. And you'll see this guy update, right? So it's it's updating with that um, difference, and you'll see it see it update here as well, right? So um, so anyway, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I hope this is helpful. Um, it does take a little filtering and stuff to kind of get this guy to work, but it is sort of a workaround for not being able to get um, area plan areas and room areas into one schedule. Um, I guess you could do it in the reverse if you wanted to. You could bring rooms into the area schedule as well. Um, so just work, you know, reverse the element collector. So anyway, that's it. All right. Thanks.